Okay, I laid the bike over on the side here. And I cleaned this up, just, I just used a little sandpaper, a little 80 grit, just to clean the rust out. And then what you want to do is uh, just set it in there and tap it. I'm hardly tapping it, you know, very lightly. And send it, send it home, that's about it, it's in there. There are other ways of doing that, you know, you, you can actually press it in yourself. All you need is a, a piece of pipe, a little, little bigger than that, and stick it on the bottom. You can get yourself a, uh, I got a six inch clamp here. And then uh, put something up like that and then just uh, crank down, you know, and it'll it'll push itself in just like a press. So I do I do it sometimes like that because uh, I'm, I'm not crazy about beating on bearings. It's, it's a very uh, easy fit. Matter of fact, the, the hole on the bottom here, let me uh, let's see if I can tilt this down and get this shit out of the way. This, this hole on the bottom is actually too loose. See that? That fits right in there. You don't want that. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to hit that with a hammer and maybe pin the edges down. Just enough to grab it so the baron won't spin. But I'm going to do that and, uh, and then we'll get back to the task at hand. Okay. Alright, we put the, both of them bushings in. And now I got that rod. I didn't cut the rod yet. I could have just measured it and, and cut it, but what I did is uh, put it in place. And then what you're going to do here on the end is uh, put a washer. So you want the washer to run up against uh, run up against this little race here or whatever it is. And not the outside one. There we go, doing it one-handed again. See the way it's not touching that outside? Right. And then put one of these on. I want to leave about about an eighth of an inch, you know, just just for looks. See the way it spins? That thing's gonna spin with it. Alright, let's go over here. Put us a washer on here. So like I said, you could you could measure that and do, it would do the same. And you you leave as much as you want out there, but I want it to look a little 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 decent. So uh, put that on there, and then we'll mark this and cut it. Huh? Well, that's been so good. It spun when I uh, when I put the marker on there. Okay, let's uh, now I'll take it out and cut it. Cutting our little piece of steel here, a little piece of town, whatever that is. Steel stock with a 316 keyway. Oh, there we go. I love that saw. I must, I must use this thing at least once a day. Every time in the garage. Alright. Alright, I'm going to touch up the end here. On our uh, little sander here, our uh, belt sander, disc sander, whatever you call it. Left-handed. All right, that's good. All right, now we uh, we're going to put the sprockets on. But you see the little keyway here? We're going to have to uh, cut some stock for the right length. So I'll measure the thickness of that. Actually, I don't have to. Just put it right there. And we'll have to cut the, cut that off. So uh, we're going to need two of them. All right, let me cut these, and we'll get back to you. All right, let me turn the thing so I can see it here. There we go. All right. Uh, I got I cut it to shape and rounded the edges off and stuff the way I like it. So now we'll stick it in. Oh, you know what? For I want to tell you something. This uh, this here is a 12, 12 tooths sprocket, 
and this one's a 21. So I figured it out. You know, there's calculations to figure out how to do it. If I put it on this way, with the big sprocket over here to the, to the rear wheel and the little sprocket to the front, it calculates out to about 15 miles per hour. Now, if I turned it around like this, with the big sprocket on this side and the little one on this side, it calculated to 48 mile per hour. Now, them calculations, they, you know, in reality, them calculations uh, don't always work because we did that with a little dirt bike. And his, his calculated out to go 23 mile an hour. And we clocked it with the car and it, it actually went 38 mile per hour. So if that's the case with this, that, that was almost double in his case. You know, this thing, I don't know. It's at 48 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour. That's crazy. But uh, maybe some of you guys have figured it out and tell me what you think. All right, we got a 12 tooth sprocket going to a 12 tooth over here on that side. A 21 tooth on this side. Where are you at? Going back to a 60 tooth sprocket. And the tire, the tire is, is uh, that was a 14 inch tire from top to bottom. That way, you know, because you have to calculate that by pi and figure out how many feet per second it goes and everything. So, a lot of calculations there, but uh, somebody calculate and tell me what you think. Right, 12 tooth from the sprocket, or 12 tooth from the clutch, 12 tooth first sprocket to a 21 tooth over here, and a 60 tooth on the rear wheel. Okay, enough playing. Let's get to business here. All right, let me stick this in here. It does. It doesn't matter which way you, you turn these, but I'm going to uh, have the big knuckle on the inside just because that's the way I like it. All right. Now, send it through. Put the big sprocket on. Seems a little tough, so these one of these ears must be a little bent. No biggie, no biggie. Okay. Now, I'm going to put our washer on. And then... Wow. I almost put that through exactly where I wanted it. Alright. You can get an Allen wrench to find out what the size that is. How about that? Road King picked the first time, first one. Okay, okay we'll tighten that up. You don't need a key on that, that's just going to hold that in place. Now these two little guys are going to need keys. I made up a little keyway there. Let me see. I'm not even close to the hole. There's the hole right there. I don't even need a hammer. Okay. Got a key in there. Now let's put the key in this side here. Screw's probably tight. Oh, these are different size. Yep. It's pretty tight. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that key is where I want it. Okay. And this one. Whoop, this one came out already. Look how loose it was. Okay. Now, I'm going to want to line these up. Line this one. Line this one up with a back sprocket. That looks pretty close, Road King. Okay. 
And this one here, I'm going to have to put the engine on because this, this goes to the clutch. Alright, let me go put the engine on and we'll get back to you. Okay, first muzzle, uh, put this side on, put the washer on, and then this, uh, turn around this way so it looks like the other one. There we go. A little shit like that makes a difference. Only I would notice it though. Okay, I got the wrong one. There we go. That works better. What the hell's going on here? Tubes. I had the right one the first time. Yeah, I had the first one. I had the right one the first time. Okay. Okay, spins nice, freely. Okay, I'll let me put the engine on. Okay. 